There's many treatment options. Can you break it down for us, for people that are considering dentures or implants? Um, it varies on price. Yeah, one of the biggest questions we get is how to transition for their first denture when people need to have teeth pulled and get that first denture and how do you do that because you know no one wants to disrupt their their social life and we all want to get on with our lives in any situation particularly when you're having teeth pulled so um, it's really important that um, people come in for a free consultation and learn the treatment plan options that are available when you're getting teeth pulled and a denture placed. Okay, so what options are available? So the number one option is called the immediate denture and everyone seems to want this because obviously again, they want to minimize the disruption in their lives and go from having their teeth pulled and the denture placed immediately, hence the name. Um, however, there are some risks involved because we can't try the denture in because the teeth are in place right up until the extraction appointment. So. Um, it's key to come in for a free consultation to discuss this because everyone wants that treatment, but the risks are individual and some people aren't willing to take those risks, particularly so, in the indenture. Yeah, and, and what if you get a case where it's not a good fit? Yeah, and that's what everyone wants the you know perfect teeth pulled denture placed, but in the mouth, everything's kind of magnified. So if the midline's off by about a millimeter or two, uh, it can be significant as well as if the angle of the, the slope of the mouth or, um, you know, if the teeth are sticking out, people can be quite disappointed. And there's added fees for correcting that. Uh, there is, yeah. So it's a lot more work because we have to make the denture in the lab without trying it in, as well as um, they need extra liners involved. Okay, so, okay well, let's look at uh, plan two then. So a lot of the people don't like that element of risk because they... They just don't want to have something they don't know happen when they have their teeth pulled. So what we suggest to them is to wait a week after the teeth are pulled. Um, you know, the health, mouth heals up a little bit, and then we start with the impressions. So um, we're able to try the denture in. There's no surprises as how it's going to look. And after about uh, a few weeks of making the denture, we, tr we finish the product and put it in. So it looks exactly how they, they expect. Okay. And then... Uh the third option, and, and that is uh, waiting for things to fully heal and prepare. Yeah, when teeth are pulled, uh, what happens is the bone, your body takes the bone and redistributes it because it no longer needs the bone to, to hold the teeth and the root in place. So um, what, what's needed is over about three months or even up to a year, the bone and the, and the gums all shrink and the denture needs to be relined. So those first two options involve a reline fee. Um, again, in three months to a year, which can be, you know, two to $300. And when we're trying to give all affordable options, a lot of people don't want that, that added fee. So they'll choose to wait, uh, you know, three months a year before we start with the denture. Yeah. Okay. Um, many more questions and, and answers at uh, Sabres and Denture and Implant. And we'll link up uh, your social media and website at chch.com. Good to see you again. You too, Bob.